Hello, everyone. I thought I'd take a few minutes and walk you through some of the online re resources, the digital resources that are available um, through OCC by virtue of your enrollment here uh, so that you can help, or so that maybe you can navigate some of our course content more effectively, and that you just are fully aware of all the tools that we have. And so to do that, I'm going to share my screen and just kind of walk through the resources. Now, I, I'm doing this um, fully aware of the fact that there are resources available to help guide you through um, Microsoft Suite and uh, resources online, but sometimes it's better to have uh, something that's specifically tailored to the kind of work that you're going to be doing. And so if you're on our homepage, you're going to click on students. And when you click on students, it's going to bring up some options for you. And for uh, the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to click on Office 365. It's going to bring up my Office 365, so ignore all of the um, dashboard things. But one of the things that is really helpful about 365 once you start using it, uh, you can see a failed attempt of this meeting um, <laughs> earlier. But one of the really nice things is that this dashboard will have all the work that you're doing right now, um, all the things that you've touched in the last seven days in your uh, in your folders. But if you want a full um, overview of your content, it's all right here. And you can see uh, everything that you've done and that's been shared with you. You can also take a look specifically in folders. Um, but we're going to go home for right now. The tiles on the side are the um, elements in Office that are highlighted for you. There are more. If you have a SharePoint for a club that you're in, um, or if you need something that's not being displayed in the ribbon here, uh, you can go and access that by clicking on the dot matrix here in the corner. For right now, most of what we do in this class is going to involve Word, maybe PowerPoint. And I'll tell, tell you some things that um, that also might be helpful. So I'm going to open up a blank document. I have the dark mode turned on. I find it helpful. I, th I think it's less distracting. Um, there's two options that you have. You can either edit this in the HTML version, or you can open this in the desktop app. So if you don't have the desktop app downloaded to your um, computer, clicking on this or just to give you a sense, clicking here will give that will we'll download that app to your desktop and I'll show you how that um, makes a difference. So if I just have a blank document open here, right, this is what my toolbar looks like. I have some uh, buttons that are here that, that pertain to spacing. I have most of the things that you need, bullets and numbers and all of that. If I go into the desktop version, My blank document on a desktop version, I have a much wider range of tools that are up here. Um, and I can still save this to the to my cloud. So now this is auto-saved. So you can see auto-save in the corner here. Auto-save will keep you from um, storing this locally to your downloads or to your documents. Um, auto-save will keep it in the cloud so that when you go to your home page, the documents that you've worked on are right there. You're going to want to give it a name. Every document you create, you're going to want a name. And I find it helpful to name the thing based on the course um, and the assignment name. That way you can search for it. I know I've seen students that um, like name them paper one, paper two, um, 
which works until you get to about paper eight, right? Uh, so I've named the file. I have my font. Now for me, I don't, I don't have a lot of um, requirements when it comes to font. Times New Roman, Calibri um, are all fine. Um, it needs to be a readable font. Times New Roman used to be the standard. So I'm just going to put my name here. So I'll put my MLA header up here. I'm Justin Pritchard. I'm in Professor Pritchard's English class. That class is EMG 103, section 3, 19 or 20. And the date today is February 5th, 2024. So this is a standard header. And then you um, put the title here. We double space. And then we realign here. Tab. And so this is more or less uh, MLA style. All right, so it's your name, then it's my name, then it's the class, then it's the date, then the title of your assignment, and then your actual writing. This really doesn't matter a ton for some of the smaller assignments, but once we get to the um, the essays, this will be a little bit more important. What's really important, so once you have a document, you're gonna file, you're gonna save as. If you're in, um, it's fine if you download a PDF or download a copy, but if you're working in the cloud, you're going to want to download a version of this paper to your local drive because it makes it easier to attach on D2L. And I'll show you that in just a second. So I'm going to go into D2L. I'm going to view this as a student. And I'm going to go into uh, Unit 1. So let's say I want to complete the second um, second week assignment, getting to know you. I'm going to click on that assignment. I'm going to click on upload. And right now I'm in my quick access, if I had downloaded it. So quick access highlights everything on my uh, cloud drive. Here, I'll show you. Oops. So I'm going to file, download a copy. Back into the assignment. Upload that copy. There it is. So I'm in my downloads. You'll see it appear right here. Just as a note, I'm showing you Microsoft Word because um, the pages format does not work on Mac. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not familiar with um, Apple products, so I can't give you some specific direction on how to save. I know there's a way to get PDF and .doc from a Mac. Um, but since everybody has access to the 365, and I know it's a better um, suite of software for writing and editing, I would say start there. I'm going to click Submit. Now, once I submit, you should see it listed here. You can continue to submit. Let's say I'm, I submitted this um, and I didn't want to. Um, I can just submit an additional one over the top, and I'll always look at the last one you submitted. So this is Microsoft Word. Really beyond saving a file name, beyond uh, downloading and uploading that document, um, there's not a ton of functionality that you need. Um, 
certainly there's enough out there to get you uh, more proficient if that's what you want. Uh, I'm going to close out of this. Close out of this. Now, all the other tools that are on here are can be useful. I'm going to show you one more thing, and we're on team, so I don't know if this is going to let me. One of the things that I find uh, really useful is for public speaking or communication classes. I like to uh, have a dedicated, I tell students to have a dedicated um, team. So if you go into Teams, you can click Join or Create Team. You can create a team. Call it English 103 if you want. That way you know all of your content is right here. And it'll prompt you to create it. Now I'm going to show you the ones that I have because I did the same thing, Spring 103. This is actually the meeting that I'm recording right now. But one of the things you can do if you click on uh, Meet and click Meet Now, you'll have a window that's up that looks like this. And what's cool about this is that if you look, and this is very meta right now because um, I'm showing you the thing that it's doing, but you can see the transcript from our conversation or from my, from my uh, lecture here, right here. And if you're somebody that struggles with uh, the writing process and, or if you are looking for another way to transcribe, what's great about this transcription software is if you look, I mean, it does a pretty good job of giving sentence structure and breaking this into paragraphs. Sometimes it's just sentences, but once I'm done, I can take this and I can download it to um, a Microsoft Word document. And it's a pretty good transcript of what I've said here so far. And you can go through and you can edit that transcript. So if you find it easier to speak than to write, when you're speaking, those are still representations of your ideas. And if you can capture that uh, with a different technology, that might be a way where you can kind of uh, grab some additional verbiage um, that'll motivate your, your writing assignments in class. And that said, so I'm going to move this out of here. Stop sharing. If, uh, if you have any additional questions, our technology help desk number is um, 498-2999. It's uh, 2999 if you're on campus. And they can answer any uh, Microsoft related questions. Similarly, if you look at the, um, the Learning Center website and if you look at, uh, I'm trying to think, the CTLI website online, you can see, uh, or on, on Brightspace, you can see some additional resources that'll help you with Microsoft. But I just wanted to give you a resource so that you could um, navigate the technology that you needed for our class and then can maybe give you a different way to use Microsoft Teams. Um, as always, reach out if you have any questions, and I'll see you soon.